history. We love history at Esborn. We have incredible resources for all different world wars, for different historical events, characters, cultures. This one is Greek myths, um, and it's a beautiful storybook that's illustrated. I'm going to find a beautiful illustration. Um, with the, the incredible Greek myths, and at the back there's a wonderful resource back here. And so it talks through the different characters and let me get to the map where they lived if I can find it oh, goodness okay and um, but it's really incredible a great if you're doing an um, ancient culture there's the map if you're doing an ancient ancient culture unit or maybe you just want some exciting and adventurous bedtime stories this would be a great pick we have a series called Usborne Beginners and it covers a huge range of topics we're big panda fans in our house and so we obviously have the pandas um, but it's a great book for younger elementary. So there's a table of contents. It has photographs, it has illustrations. Text is chunked, so it's very easy for young readers and hesitant or reluctant readers to kind of digest and break down that information. There's a fun little character on every page that pops out, just a fun little fact that you might know about your topic. There's dangerous animals, there's all different like space topics. So this is a great one um, to stock your home or classroom library for those maybe after lunchtime reading sessions. Have a kid go grab one of these that interests them and it'll really draw them in because they're reading about something that they care about. I mentioned our encyclopedias. This is just our general children's encyclopedia and it is packed with all kinds of stuff. Beautiful illustrations, beautiful photographs, and. Um, I love this page, Ancient Greece, again. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is internet links. Let me find a site here. So you have these fancy QR codes, and if you're not familiar, what you do is you take a smartphone or a smart device, and you like scan this little thing back here, and it pops you to a website for more information, which is incredible, because it's integrating that technology. I know that that's a current standard in a lot of our schools, and so you're doing all different kinds of learning, cross-curriculum and um, technology. Save the best for last. Um, science is one of my favorite subjects. I taught it in elementary school. And this is a book that it's probably my top five favorite books. 100 Things to Know About Science. And I love the illustrations. They're this kind of fun, chunky graphic design style. Um, and it has just a list of 100 different random topics. Like there's a page all about pencils and diamonds. Really random. Um, there's Whales have finger bones is number 65. Spider silk. So really random topics and it walks through the science behind each one of these. And it's just really neat, a great, um, we read it at dinner time and my daughter and husband both love it. And um, just for fun little facts. So this would be a great one um, to tie in, again, your reluctant learners. And this is um, incredible. 365 science activities. I recommend this for every parent, every teacher, whether it's science or not, it's incredible. It has a spiral bound book with amazing science activities. So I taught art and we actually did this activity and photographed it. And so it's a science activity. We walked behind the science behind it and documented it through photography. And so we were cross curriculum there. Uh, but it's beautiful, it's fun. Um, I think it would be perfect. I taught high school when I did that project. And so you don't have to be an elementary student um, to do silly fun activities. It's a really great way um, just to, to make learning interesting and fun. So I hope you've seen something here that can help spice up your education, classrooms, home libraries, and, and just make learning fun. That's our goal here at Esborn.